the topic abortion it is a hot topic hot topics and um for myself personally i don't see myself doing it because i just don't but fair enough i've never been in a situation where i felt like i had to choose I know there are women who are in situations where they had to decide if they're going to have abortion or not. And I've met women who had to do it and they cried and cried. And they will tell you how old their child would have been if they didn't abort. It's like a very traumatic thing. Some women, like, some women had to do it for whatever reason, you know, and it's not an easy thing. For most women, most women don't make it a light thing. It's something for whatever their situation, they had to do it. And I am not going to judge because I don't live that life. I'm not going to take care of that child. I'm not going to, I'm just saying, okay, like I am pro, pro choice for them, but pro life for myself, you know, it is funny. But when Ben get into the discussion of abortion is very chaotic like they don't really care about a woman's situation unless it affects them they like i've seen men the same man will shame a woman for having an abortion oh you killed your baby how dare you shame on you shame on you, shame on you. but then also say um you are the you choose to be a single mother because you have the option to abort that baby so that man is pro-abortion he says you decided to have a baby because you didn't abort it so shame on you shame on you shame on you but also will say you aborted your baby shame on you shame on you shame on you so that's why when men jump into discussion of abortion women like look at you guys and like what are you doing you're, you're not even consistent you you shame a woman for having an abortion but also shame a woman for not having an abortion you wonder why we're like just go just go away go, go away stop talking about abortion you know like i've seen women like had to do it and cried like it was a miscarriage. they cried and cried and but men i don't know when it comes to abortion they're not consistent i i have i've yet to seen a consistent man talk say that he is definitely against abortion for all no matter what even if he messed up he will, he will say, well, I didn't want to have this baby. So you, you tricked me or something and, or you have options to abort it. So you should have aborted it. And because you didn't abort it, you're, you're, you're trash and you're tricking me and all this shit. But then if you wanted to keep it and she aborted it, she's trying, like, it's not consistent. That's why when men come in the conversation abortion, we are like, can you go somewhere else? Talk about vasectomies. That's your thing, right? You know? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too much about this, but like I I wanna I wanna see a man who's consistent about it. If he messed up, no way he wants an abortion, you know, and he's against all of it. Even like when he said when a man says you women are you decide if a, a child is born or not when a man says that women you decide if a woman of a, of a child you okay sorry when a man says you women decide if a child is born or not that man is basically saying he should have she should have yeeted the fetus so she can be a civil mother but men don't they don't say they're pro-choice they don't they don't 
It doesn't come out their mouth. They don't say I'm for abortion. They don't they don't let it out. They say, I'm against single motherhood. I'm against da da da. But they won't say yes. I'm a for abortion. I want that woman to take that thing out if I don't want it. They don't say it. They just say, Well, it's your choice, ladies. You could have you could have you're the one who decides if the child's born or not. They don't say it. That's why women don't respect the men coming into the space and talking about abortion. Because they, they're not upfront with it. That's my opinion. That's all I got to say. Jesus. I'm out.